And welcome back to AgriTalk here at Commodity Classic in Tampa, Florida. And again, Commodity Classic made up of National Corn Growers, American Soybean Association, National Association of Wheat Growers, and the Sorghum Growers as well. So you have four groups here. And um, one of the co-chairs who helped put all this together, representing the American Soybean Association, is Charles Canatella. And uh, he has a smile on his face. Uh, not only, although... He's used to kind of warm weather, so this, this may not be as out of the norm for him as it is for a lot of the rest of us this time of year, but you're smiling because you've got such a good turnout. Yes, we do. Uh, <clears throat> we just broke the record for Commodity Classic. We have uh, over 4,660 registrants this year. Wow. That is great. In fact, the number's been going up even today, right? Yes, yeah, since 7 o'clock this morning, we've picked up probably 120 registrants. Well, that has to make you feel good. I mean, to have that kind of a turnout, and yeah, a lot of things have come together. I, I think part of it is people do want to get away from the snow and cold, but you have high commodity prices, and you have a lot of issues uh, that people are hoping to get some answers uh, to some questions, uh, looking ahead to this cropping year and beyond for agriculture. So you have a lot of things really kind of coming together. Yes, we do. Uh, you know, we have high commodity prices. The weather's been bad in, in the northern part of the country. Um, also, with the farm bill coming up in a year or so, um, I think all your four groups are, are anxious to see what their, what their uh, boards are going to do to work on the farm bill. That's a good point. I mean, there's a lot that goes on here, a huge trade show, and, but also this, the four groups involved here have policy meetings and kind of set their course for the coming year. Yes, they do. Uh, all four will, will hold policy meetings, and uh, it gives a chance for a farmer out in the community to come and uh, voice his opinion on what he thinks his, his commodity, the direction that commodity needs to go. And, uh, and then that will be worked on in Washington, D.C. by those representatives. Because as we get into the next Farm Bill riding, it, it looks like a lot of that's going to be next year, but still uh, members of Congress will want to know from each of these groups, okay, what are you looking for? What's the position of your members on certain issues? Yes, there is. And uh, they, uh, you know what the... With the budget restraints in in D.C., you know we all we all know that it, there will be budget cuts, and um, so all the commodities are anxious to to get out there and see their congressmen and talk to them and let them know what you know what the farm out in the countryside needs to stay in business. Yeah, that is kind of the uh, the backdrop to all this. What's going on in Washington now? The attempts to cut the budget and cut into the deficit and knowing, trying to find out how much and where, what programs, all that. That's a big part of what's being discussed. Yes, it is. They, um, you know, and I, I think the farming community out there, we're willing to take our cuts, but you know, we do we do need a, a good safety net to keep us in business because these prices won't last forever. They're eventually going to work their way back down, and we have to have a safety net so we can stay in business. You know, that's a good point. We keep pointing to high commodity prices, and people say, well, what do you need any kind of help from the government? I think the bigger concern right now is what happens if, and history says when, these prices come back down. Yeah, that's, that, that is a, that's real, and that's what's going to happen. Um, and and there will be cuts in the farm bill, and... Um, We'll just have to see how it plays out in Congress next year. Now, you're going to get a pretty good indication from a couple of key leaders of what may happen and kind of what the mood is and what's happening in Washington. You're going to have both Secretary of Agriculture Tom Vilsack and the Chairman of the House Agriculture Committee Frank Lucas here tomorrow. Yes, we will. And um, the past um, the past Chairman of the uh, Congressional Farm Caucus was Colin Peterson. And, and last year he, he wanted to start the uh, discussion on the farm bill then and that discussion did get started but when the house turned now we have Lucas here so uh, we're anxious to sit down with him and see which way they want to go with the farm bill. Yeah his feeling is more wait till next year he seems focused right now on uh, uh, working on on EPA and uh, their what he he and many others feel like is an overreach of their authority and I know that's uh, that's a message that will probably ring uh, pretty true with a lot of the people here. Yeah, it's uh, it's a concern to all four groups. The uh, the re restriction that we have on out there today, it looks like every week or month or so, there's a new restriction being put on us. You know, in the farming community, on the way we, we operate our businesses, and uh, it's something we have to look at and 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 um, voice our voice our opinion to our congressmen and senators. Showing some of the optimism in the industry, the huge trade show. You have a lot of exhibitors here that want to talk with these farmers. Yes, we do. We have um, we have over 
close to 900 booths, which is capacity here in Tampa. We have actually outgrown Tampa's convention center for our trade show. Um, we have capacity this year. We have a lot of new technology out there. Uh, all your equipment dealers have new stuff coming down the pipeline that they want to introduce to you. We have new genetics out there that the uh, seed companies are unfolding now and uh, a lot of drought tolerance and new chemistries and chemicals too this year. So again, over 4,500 here in attendance at Commodity Classic, a record crowd. Charles, thank you for being with us and congratulations on all your hard work in helping put this together. Thank you all for being here. And I hope everybody has a good time. All right. Charles Canatella, Commodity Classic co-chair, representing the American Soybean Association. Your biggest challenge may be keeping them inside. They all want to go outside in that warm weather. All right. We'll take a break. Come back. We're going to talk with uh, Rambo Agrofinance. That's next on Agritalk.